Um, this is See There Sarah Go Forth here. I just wanted to do a video today showing a lot of my bladed weapons and unfortunately I don't have a videographer so this means whenever it comes time for me to show these knives I will have to do this one handed so um, I guess we're going to see how this turns out and make the best of it. So I hope you enjoy it. So first off I'm going to start off by doing an overall scan of the video if I can keep my fingers out of the way long enough a scan of the area to show a lot of my weapons I've got big ones small ones short ones tall ones I've got knives of all kind I love it <laughs> okay but okay I guess we can start with the big boy this is my Klingon Batleth, and it indeed is a real weapon. It is 48 inches of stainless steel with leather wrapped handles. It's amazing. I love it. It's one of my dreams, uh, dream come true to own one. And this one is my Klingon Doc Dog. It actually is controlled by a thumb switch which lower, which raise and lower, or open and close, the prongs rather. So there is that. And if you guys will excuse my nervous jitters, public speaking is actually one of my phobias. And of course this is the sheath for the Klingon Doc Tog. And like I said, you know, it's been one of my dreams to own one of these weapons. Well, let's see, since I'm having to do a lot of this by feel, where am I going here? Okay, this one, let me find it, um, is a Robin Hood blade with an eagle head skull splitter, which, oh uh, yeah, sounds intimidating, huh? But, um, I've, I've probably had this one for about 15 years or so, and it's, well, along, it along with a lot of my weapons is, you know, one of my favorite ones. And this one also is one of my favorite ones. It was one of the first ones that I received. It is... I'm not sure what type of blade this is, but um, yeah, as you can see, the, the hilt is wrapped in cloth, a red cloth. And the coolest thing about this one is the scabbard. Which, uh, it's got... It's a nice red color, and it's got a dragon painted on it. Um, let's see what else I'm missing. Okay, I've actually had these for a while, and God, I hope it's I hope it's legal for me to show these. It's a pair of nunchucks. Awesome, yeah. You can tell I take pride in my in my weaponry. Let's see, where else am I going? Um, this is a knife. A lot of these I have to show in a half open state because it is difficult for me to manipulate them to open and close them with, um, with one hand. Oh boy, I'm getting nervous. Um, but, um, I can't tell you exactly how long I've had this knife, where I got it, or anything like that but um and let me see if I can at least open it you can close it and it only closes halfway I'm not going to close it all the way because I can't manipulate it with one hand okay let me see if I can figure out a way to open it okay there it is it's open all the way and well yeah and now I can let me see if I can close it back okay now it's to a state where all I have to do is push it close and then it fits into, let's see, where is the scabbard? Okay, it fits right there. This one is a really cool weapon. It's one that someone got me from a gun and knife show. It is all plastic, and yes, it is a hairbrush. But if, you know, I had to leave this one kind of half open as well, so I could take it apart with one hand, if you were to snatch the bristles off of that, there you've got a weapon that is, it's kind of, it feels like it's divided in four sections. From what I've seen of it before, it looks like it's had a pretty rough day. 
but this weapon is made to it is a stabbing weapon what what you would do you would actually thrust it at someone or into someone's body I know that sounds really bad I'm, I promise you I'm not sick and twisted I've just <laughs> it's just you know blades are one of my fascinations and this is made to you thrust it into your assailant or whatever and you twist which creates a weapon or which pff, weapon which creates a wound that will not close so with that being said let me see if I can at least and again I say that is all plastic so yeah there now it's cl it closed it's closed completely this actually is one of the ones that I carry around with me all the time let me see if I can just okay come on there we go it's a stainless steel weapon which it's my this is one of the things like I said I carry around with me all the time and it looks like it's had a pretty rough day as well so I've actually got to try to find a way to take it in and get it uh, repolished okay let me breathe um okay and I've actually gotten it to where I can close it again and I actually tied a leather string to that one which you know if I need to I can put it on my wrist and it will not be easily you know it will not be easy to disarm me so um okay let's see where else I need to go this one is I don't know why but that one actually costs it a pretty penny um it's actually got a let me make sure that when this thing pops open it's not gonna um get in the way of anything um it's got a safety switch let me see if I can find it here okay let me find the where's the dang switch okay there it is so this one whoa okay that kind of scared me because this one pops I sometimes I actually have to tie that one down because even with a safety switch on it pops open um let's see where else can I go this one's actually really cool because it looks like a weapon that I think it's something that looks like it fits on your finger like so I'm not exactly sure what it is, but yeah, I think you could do some damage. And this one, this one's actually really cool because, check it out, it's a swift blade. But the cool thing about that is it doubles as a butane lighter. Let me see if I can close it here. There we go. And actually pressing this button down here will um, start the lighter. So, and I've had that thing for a while. I'm not sure, you know, what condition the, uh, I'm not sure how well it's made. And I do not want it exploding in my hand if I were to light it. So, let's see. Where have I gone? Okay, let me get my hair out of my way here. Um, okay, I've done all these. Ah, this one's a cool weapon, which this one is actually, let me see if I can open it that's one that's two that's three and this one is actually a throwing weapon and um, I've actually had it for about 10 years also I had one once at um, once that opened out into four blades but um, I accidentally left it in the back of a friend's car a while back okay this one here has actually never been taken out of its case and I have one that was kind of similar to it that I could not find today which unfortunately I've had uh, more than a few weapons that or no I can't say more than a few um let's see one two I think three that I cannot locate but the one that I have that's kind of like this is in pretty good is in pretty rough shape the stuff here that actually contains the picture is on that one is kind of lifted up around the edges and I whenever I do find it I need to uh, take it in to see if I can get it fixed and again Paul uh, I do apologize for my nervous jitters uh, this is one of the things that I fear most so technically in doing this I am conquering my fear woohoo 
Okay. This is one of my most prized ones. I will take it off of its base here. This is one that I call the beast. And I will show you why. Okay, you see the, the crescent shaped blade and it's got four spikes here and one here. But the reason I call this thing the beast, check out that dragon head skull splitter. Raw, it's gonna get you. And I actually found this one at a consignment shop for like $30. Okay, let me see if I can figure out how to put this back on the base. Um, there we go, almost. Come on, mind me. I hate it when things don't listen to me. Almost, okay, almost. Come on, go, 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 go. Ah, bingo, okay. And let me make sure that I haven't forgotten anything. Um, okay, if I have, I will show that at a later date. So, with that being said, now that I'm sweating bullets here, literally, um, you guys, uh, be safe and be good. So, and I hope this turned out okay. All right.